Ever been curious as to what secrets lie just beyond the edge of the map, eagerly waiting to be discovered? What better way to end their time in Vathi than by discovering those very same treasures? After two days exploring recent shipwrecks and modern monuments, today the crew venture into Vathi's wilderness. Their goal? To discover the mythology that runs through this natural landscape, investigating the enchanted bloodlines of Ithaca, journeying through sea, pavement, foliage and cliff faces as they do it. Welcome to Sailing Trinity Season 2, a Greek Sun Odyssey, around the islands in 80 days. Ready to dive into today's adventure, friends? If you'd like to see more of our Odyssey, hit the like and subscribe button now. Your engagement does wonders for the channel. Stay tuned as the crew, driven by curiosity and led by mystery, unearth ancient stories and invite you to join alongside them for an entertaining and educational journey. What timeless myths will unfold on today's Odyssey? Join us this episode to find out. Without further ado, let's dive right in and escape the ordinary together. Still in the wonderful Vati, and now we're going to be off exploring together. So we'll be with our buddy boats, stay salty again. And they have a short enough hike that they will be taking us on. I'm not sure exactly where we're going, so I can't let you in on that secret. You'll just have to find out as we go along, as we are. As far as I'm aware, we're going to a beach, so that's all I know for the moment. So we should be able to just walk around the island to make our way over there. So those are our plans for today. We're very excited to go. We'll bring you guys with us, and we hope you have as wonderful of a day as we will. Their journey begins in the heart of Vathi, where cobbled streets soon give way to rural paths, far from the bustle of busy town life. Let's head ashore in the dinghy together. So now we have to roll back. Yeah. yeah. Stay salty. I think stay fueled. <laughs> yeah, keep the fuel up. We are embracing traditional values. <laughs> We're rowing the boat. Eco-friendly. Look how, yeah, eco-friendly. We got so close to the quay as well, and then the engine died. Yeah. We're so close, we're just here. <laughs> Such is life. Go team. <laughs> Community over there. Lovely girl, showing us her side and everything. She's a content queen these days. This is where we are going. Beach Filiatro. I love Greece, it's so colourful. And there's a church on every corner. beautiful homes here and they all have this like rustic semi-rural beautiful Mediterranean feel oh it's just wonderful for those of you wondering it's hot today I think summer is creeping its way in I'm sweating <laughs> making a pilgrimage. Wow, but the stone is kind of cooling if you stand in the shaded part.
so I don't even know how much further we have to go but the perk of uphill is knowing that on the way back it's down <laughs> seems like we have some property going for sale very open living space magnificent view perhaps we'll ditch the boat and opt for something simpler instead <laughs> let me look at this view for a second oh this bee they like my hair I don't like them there are a multitude of different tree species all around Greece but I mean it really stands out here you can see it's magnificent everywhere you look there's a different color shape length it's quite the <laughs> mystical assortment off we go today we're delving into the mystical realms of the greek wilderness where mountains forests and trees are specially woven into the very fabric of greek mythology mountains in greece have always been seen as the abodes of gods mount olympus believed to be the home of the olympians mount parnassus sacred to apollo and the muses further mountains have also served as crucial vantage points ones where gods would influence mortal affairs from. For instance, Hermes would descend from Mount Selene to deliver messages swiftly to those in need of them. Additionally, trees also held significant mythological importance as well. One compelling myth involves the cypress tree, associated with Siparissus, a young boy loved by Apollo. He accidentally killed his beloved pet stag and was so grief-stricken that he asked Apollo to let his tears fall forever. Apollo then transformed him into a cypress tree whose sap is said to resemble those very teardrops. Further, there are approximately 6,000 species of flowering plants and 200 species of tree in Greece alone, making it one of the most botanically rich regions in all of Europe. Presently, the Greek wilderness continues to captivate with its rich biodiversity and stunning landscapes whose origins run as deep as the sea that surrounds them. Get ready for this one. <gasps> 50 shades of blue. I can hear the water from up here. <laughs> Apparently they have seals here. Everyday Greece surprises me more and more. Whoa, we still have a ways to go. The water is deceiving. Check this out. All the way down there. I'm suddenly envious of all the people coming down on motorbikes. Ah, uh, the road less traveled. Oh, there's a bug on my head. There's a couple of islands off in the distance on the horizon, Kalamos and Kostos. And we'll be visiting those later on in the season on the way back from the Saronic Gulf. little change of plan. We are actually going to a different beach because it is much too hot to go to the beach we're originally going to go to. It's a whole another ways up. We're going to be coming down here, attending a beach bar instead. Let's add palm trees to that list of trees, shall we? <gasps> Oh my gosh, this is so tropical. To their delight, palm trees paving the way, the crew discover a hidden paradise just for them. With no one else around, it's the perfect spot to explore, relax, and really soak in the beauty of Ithaca. Let's join them. Ducky geese. So here we are, everything's closed. But nature is always open 24 7 -ly. Look lucky us. of early season we have the entire place to ourselves which is something you cannot complain about at all let's show you around we're just gonna chill out here after that big long walkies in the big sweaty grease oh the water is so calming oh paradise show you guys some of this magnificent view we're honing our drone skills and this is a perfect place to do that. And then we'll see what we end up doing on our way back. 
Saran Kiniko Bay is a stunning coastal spot on the eastern side of Ithaca, known for its crystal clear waters and white pebbled beaches, lush greenery and dramatic bracketing cliffs. This tranquil bay is relatively secluded and a decent trek from general civilization, making it a hidden gem cherished by locals and visitors alike. Saran Kiniko Bay is not just a visual delight, it's also a place of social and cultural significance. Greek mythology itself is filled with tales of hidden beaches and coves. One such story involves the god Poseidon, who was said to create these secluded inlets to hide his treasures and to use as secret meeting places with his favoured sea nymphs. According to local lore, the area around Saran Kiniko Bay was favoured by these very nymphs, who are mythical spirits of nature believed to inhabit the waters and forests. These nymphs would have found Saran Kiniko's pristine environment a perfect home. Amimane, a famous nymph, was searching for water during a drought, where she was attacked by a satyr. She cried out for help and Poseidon, god of the sea, came to her rescue. He then revealed a hidden spring to her, providing the much-needed water to the land. Saran Kiniko Bay is a place where natural beauty and mythological wonder converge seamlessly. Whether you're drawn in by its serene waters and scenic views, or captivated by the myths that echo through its hidden coves, this bay is sure to offer you a unique glimpse into the enchanted bloodlines of Ithaca. Oh, look at this! There's eyebrows and everything! Oh, that's such a happy thing! <laughs> that is so sweet, I love human beings. Right, let's go up the rocks. But another day where I'm grateful to not be worrying about everything <laughs> killing me. I went under that rock there, no fear. No thoughts, no apprehension. This goes all the way up. Whoop. Up. Up. Nice. <gasps> We're leaving now and my pockets are two stones heavier. Heavier than they arrived, the crew, reluctantly so, left their beach haven. The journey back to Vathi continuing to offer breathtaking encounters with the island's natural beauty. <laughs> We've all got our trek shoes on. I've noticed that if you walk backwards, you can't see it. It's not as bad. <laughs> yeah, it's not, maybe I should not do that. <laughs> Anybody? Any takers? Or, uh, no, half an acre, half an acre. We have decided. Oh, we have decided that as soon as we get back to the town, we're going to have some ice cream. So, whew, the mirage of Alpha Cans is beginning to form in front of me. I won't bring you through the pain of this sweaty walk back. I'll see you when we get back to the town. Getting closer and closer to the ice cream. <laughs> it's been a long walk. Mm. He's running to the ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> We're all here. <laughs> Somebody's all the way <laughs> down there. Well, where is the ice cream? You lead us. <gasps> there it is. Ice cream. Everybody's big smiles. <laughs> so many choices. I don't like mango. Maybe pistachio as well. And there's water and all together. Thank you. Yes. Strawberry, yeah. Black forest. Black forest with Sahara cherry topping. Marcus, sorry, how many kilometers did you say? Uh, okay, nice. Hike, check, ice cream, double check. Now, in true Sailing Trinity fashion, the day ends with an unexpected mishap. Let's check in with the crew.
so nice. <laughs> You're enjoying the ride? Yeah. Slow ride's always better. <laughs> Three passenger princesses. Yes, ladies of yeah. ladies of, of uh, leisure. Ladies of leisure on the dinghy. Yes, yes. <laughs> the Germans are gaining. Quick. <laughs> I, I could row you. I could romantically row you over there. Yeah, it's oh, very can. like the, the little mermaid. Well, yeah, the, the fish will start jumping in little circles yeah, and jumping. make love <laughs> hearts. <laughs> yeah. <Under> the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, unicorn flies by. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and all the backup dancers start to come. Three meters. Yeah, yeah. We could walk. Yeah, <laughs> we could have walked. <laughs> <laughs> we could have walked. Yeah. <laughs> So an interesting thing that we learned today when we were walking around is that in Greek, Vathi actually means deep, which is really cool. I mean, it is pretty shallow in the bay, but there are some super deep waters surrounding the wonderful natural bay where you're kind of coming in. You saw us on them last episode, I believe, when we were making our way in and getting all comfortable and lovely. So it has, like most of Greece, an absolute abundance of history within it, surrounding it. I mean, to reflect on that walk, it was lovely, very hot, um, but very grateful to be able to do this in the spring because I simply can't imagine doing that in the midst of summer. And as we said, we had the beach to ourselves, which was really nice. Yeah, we're just going to relax for the rest of the evening, going to make some dinner. I'm going to do some video editing. As always, you wonderful human beings, thank you for joining us. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for caring about what we're doing, where we're going and who we're doing it with. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something. I hope you had a laugh and hope you've been inspired to visit the magnificent town of Vathi on Ithaca yourselves. We've come to the end of another magnificent stay on our Around the Islands in 80 days. And we'll be heading off again tomorrow morning, I believe. So, until then, we'll see you next time, guys. With a pilgrimage up through ancient towns, blanketed by lush wilderness and donned by sweltering spring heat, all made worth it by the discovery of the serene and secluded Sarankiniko Bay. What a day that was. And as the sun sets on their final day in Vathi, the crew prepare for their next voyage in their odyssey. Join them next episode as they venture to Ahia Ephemia, a small coastal Catalonian town that offers up an unexpected bout of weather that forced the crew into some very very quick decision making. How will they navigate the next phase of their journey? Stay tuned to find out. Which part of this story captivated you the most? And what mythical legends do you think await the crew next? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We can't wait to escape the ordinary with you. See you there guys! Yeah.